Welcome to the Georgia Dome in Atlanta with Tony Mullen. I'm Rod Smith. We just watched the Missouri Tigers fall again for the second straight year in the SEC championship game. Again, this time it was number one Alabama as opposed to Auburn last year. And, Tony, you were on the field this whole game. It was a, a home game for the Crimson Tide. Yeah, it was. Kind of like last year, of course. Auburn had the big majority in the crowd against Missouri. This year it seemed like even more one-sided for Alabama. There was red all over the place. Little corner of the end zone over here <laughs> had some Missouri fans. There were some scattered throughout, but yeah, this was easily a road atmosphere for the Tigers. Let's go ahead and show them the highlights and really some of the lowlights of this game. Uh, it was not a good start. Alabama dominated the first half. Crimson Tide got the ball first. They went 10 plays, 68 yards. T.J. Yeldon goes in. A very little resistance from the Tiger defense on that opening drive. 7-0 tied after one quarter. Early second, a critical play in this game. Blake Sims, a 58-yard touchdown pass to DeAndre White, made it 14 to nothing. On that play, Shane Ray was tossed out of the game for targeting a hit on Sims after he released it and we talked to Ray after the game. I led with my hands first and my helmet if you look at the film my helmet was underneath his face mask so I mean the call is what it is can't take it back so you know it was unfortunate. Up, up top our coach just said that that, uh, that I, I, you know, I think I had the crown of the head. That's what I, I was told. And uh, they, our coaches upstairs who saw it, they agreed with it. So that's what the hit was. So we've had personal fouls in these games, uh, penalties. Um, you know, we've had them the last three or four uh, weeks also. And uh, you get in big games like this and you – it's not very good. I mean, it's not. I'm, I'm responsible for that. Meanwhile, the Tiger offense finally showed some life. Matty Mock long to Jimmy Hunt, who had a great day. 32-yard pass into the red zone. Mizzou came out with some points there. A 33-yard Andrew Baggett field goal. It was a 14-3 Alabama lead. The Tide would roll 75 yards near the end of the half. T.J. Yeldon goes over again. Tigers trailing at 21-3 at the half. Totally outplayed in the first half. Much better start to the second half, though. Mizzou opens with a 10-play, 75-yard drive. Key play, long pass to Jimmy Hunt. It took four plays from there, but Mock hits Bud Sasser. Fourth and goal, one-yard touchdown. It was a 21-10 game. Tiger defense doing their best without Shane Ray. Lucas Vincent in on the sack. Tigers would get the ball back and moving the ball again. Another hail Mock to Jimmy Hunt. 47 yards to the Alabama 17. That would set up an Andrew Baggett field goal. It was 21-13 and Missouri made it a one possession game late in the third quarter but after that it was all Bama. They bounced back with a touchdown drive. Ends with a Sims to Christian Jones. Touchdown pass. First play of the fourth quarter. 28-13 tied leading. Bama adding two more fourth quarter touchdowns. 42-13 to the final. Blake Sims, 23 of 27 passing, 262 yards, two touchdowns, named the SEC Championship Game MVP. Amari Cooper, the Heisman hopeful, a record 12 catches in the SEC title game. Missouri falls to 10-3. and three. Number one Alabama celebrates an SEC title and will earn a trip to the college football playoffs. The Tigers spoke to us about the disappointment of losing at the Georgia Dome for the second straight season. I'm really disappointed how we played. You know, we played a great football team. When you play a great football team, you got to play well. And they're going to make plays, you got to make plays. And I'm responsible for how my team plays. And having penalties, having a turnover, it's just, uh, just very disappointing. It hurt, man. We put in a lot of work. A lot of these coaches, we wanted to bring it back for these coaches. We got some great coaches. We wanted to do it for our coaches, man. We just wanted to do it for them. They didn't been here before. We got the best coaches, man. We just want to do it for them. We ain't do it for them tonight. Credit to those guys. They came out ready to play. Came out flat, and uh, a team like that, man, you can't really come out too flat, you know. And uh, they they still gave us a chance. Like we still had opportunities out there on the field, and we did not take advantage of them like we normally do. You know, I think you know we came out a little jittery, and then we we calmed down and kept, and started getting some stops. And you know, then towards the end, that you know we just couldn't get a stop when we needed it. You know, it's unfortunate the turnout. Uh, you know, we we really felt like we were gonna pull this one out in the third quarter, and then. Uh, you know, we stopped executing when we needed to. And, uh, you know, I told my guys that uh, we're not going to let this define who we are as a team and that in the end we got to let, you know, come uh, the resilient team that we are and figure out what we had done wrong and uh, fix it. You know, we got to overcome all ty our different types of adversity. Um, we got to stay together. That's what's important. That's most important. Uh, we got to go back, watch the film. We got to suck up this loss and uh, get ready for the next game for this bowl game. 
Again, the Tigers lose it 42 to 13 to Alabama, and this was the number one team in the country, Tony. We expected yeah. they were going, going to be good, and, and they were. And they showed why they were the number one team when Mizzou got it close there late. They were able to pull away, and really the opposite of what we'd seen the last two games, mm -hmm. Missouri. Matty Mock had the two big touchdown passes in the fourth quarter at Tennessee. Missouri won that game, had the late comeback in the fourth quarter to beat Arkansas. And again, you saw a second half. Missouri made it close. One possession yep. game. They're late in the third, but Alabama just way too much down the stretch, and uh, they'll get a chance to compete now for a national championship. Did you get the feel when Missouri made it a 21-13 a to 13 game? I got the feel the Tigers can make a game of this thing, and I thought maybe they had enough to come back and score again and, and, and maybe, uh, maybe pull off the upset. And the defense had really shut Alabama down there for most of the third quarter, and with the offense rolling, you thought, Hey, we've seen this Tiger team do right. this now. The last couple of weeks, they've come back. Just too much talent, though, on that other side of the football. Alabama is uh, very, very good, as we all saw. So we will find out Sunday night, 5.30 Central mm -hmm. Time, where the Tigers will play because they will get one more game. They will get a bowl game. The Citrus Bowl is a possibility as the SEC runner-up. That would be in Orlando on New Year's Day. If the Tigers don't go there, there is a group of six bowls that are all about the same according to the SEC could be a lot of different locations but we'll find out for sure on Sunday. Tony I know you want to win every game and Gary Pinkle told us yesterday he expects to win every game but we knew they right. were two touchdown underdogs going into this thing and and really Tiger fans have to realize they did a heck of a job just to get <laughs> here to Atlanta Georgia again. It was an amazing run we've talked about it so many times after that loss to Georgia you're one and one in SEC play right. you have to win six in a row you have to get some help from somebody else which Missouri got from Florida it's great to get here of course now the unfortunate stat the Tigers 0-4 all time yeah. in conference championship games they've gotten <laughs> to the stage haven't quite won here yet, though. No, and they haven't been close in any of those. But, Tony, there are a lot of teams that never make it to championship That's games right. either. So, <laughs> Tiger fans, be happy they got here and, and uh, had a chance at least. So, that is it from Atlanta, Georgia. Georgia Dome, uh, uh, Tigers fall short 42-13. to 13, But, as we mentioned, a bowl game is ahead.